accordance with Mass General Law, Chapter 22 of the Acts of 2022, signed by the Governor on February 15, 2022, I announce that this meeting of the Select Board is being recorded by Hadley Media, the Select Board's office via Zoom, and ask if there is anyone present who is also recording this meeting. Let the minutes reflect that nobody else has indicated that they are recording this meeting. Excellent. Moving on to new business 2.1, the reorganization of the select board. This is my last few moments as the chair. And now we are to discuss um, who you would like next as the chair. Uh, I make a motion to nominate Molly Keegan as the chair. I'll second that. Motion by Randy, seconded by James. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And I have to abstain. Okay. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> I'm just saying, you have to move. All right. Yep. Let us um, change nope. position. We'll do the ceremonial changing of the chair. Congratulations, Madam Chair. Okay. Yeah, you have to share with David. Right. Oh. <laughs> okay, so um, thank you, I guess. Um, next order of business would be the election of the um, Joyce and for many, many years in a row. Um, so we need to have somebody Named as clerk. Is that something anybody would like to do? Randy, you haven't been chair yet during your tenure. Would you like to be clerk? I would be willing to do it. <laughs> Make a motion for Randy to be clerk. I'll Second. Second. Okay, motion made by uh, David Phil, seconded by Jane Nevin Smith. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Aye. Um, moving on to item 2.2. Uh, we have the proposed select board schedule for the remainder of 2024. Um, I believe we have meeting the first and third Wednesdays of the month. Um, only changing is necessary. Uh, so is everybody still comfortable sticking with that schedule? Yes, I am. I think we're going to need more meetings. And now that we might be willing to have more meetings as a board, we should consider looking at this later for how we want to do that. Okay. Um, and do we want to wait to do that until we have a reason? Yeah, I would yeah. on an as needed basis. Yeah. Do it at yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, so uh, do we need, yeah, we should probably just make a motion to accept the well, schedule. Well, let's talk about June 1st, Molly, Madam Chair. We oh, have a, we have an in, uh, uh, June nineteenth is, is, is a holiday, so we want we have a twelfth or a twenty sixth option. Okay. I would say the twelfth go early because it's getting close to the fourth of July from the twenty sixth. Uh, I I think I'm fine with that. Um, looks like I can do either or works for my schedule. How about Amy and David? Um, I'd prefer the 12th because the 26th is when I'm getting ready to go to the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. Either is fine. Either works for you? Yep. Okay. So would somebody like to make a motion to accept the schedule with June 12th substituted for the 19th? So moved. <laughs> Second. Second. Okay. Um, so motion made by... Uh, Randy and Jane simultaneously, seconded by Amy. <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. 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 Right. Moving along to item 2.3. Um, we have two employees who have tendered their resignation. Carolyn, do you want to talk about? Um, we have a resignation from Troy Brin, mm -hmm. the HR director, effective Friday the 24th, correct? Mm -hmm. right. um, and then also, um, I believe it's uh, Halia or 
Kalia Wyman, um, who is a full-time dispatcher. Okay, motion to accept. Second. Okay, motion made by David, seconded by Amy. All of those in favor? Aye. 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 And just like to thank um, both individuals for their service to the town of Catholic. Okay, um, so public comments. Um, at this time, we'd like to ask if anybody is here for public comment. Okay, that doesn't appear so, so we can move along. Okay, old business, um, old business 4.1. Um, this relates to the potential hiring of an assistant town administrator slash HR director um, to replace uh, Troy Brin as the HR director, but also um, to look at this is a possible enhancement to the services that are being provided by Town Hall and to introduce backup for Carolyn and, and the assistance in terms of project management. So um, just for David's benefit, although you probably watched the news, but, yeah. um, where we left off with this is um, we had been talking about this and at the last meeting, um, there had been several examples of this sort of a hybrid position, if you will, and we asked Carolyn and Troy to come back with a proposal. So, Carolyn, do you want to talk about yeah. what we have? I, I think uh, th I think there was like four or five, and I, I might have had a couple that um, I just kind of went through to see really looking at Hadley's challenges, the challenges within, within the office, as well as what the needs were for HR. And so... I kind of just highlighted what was I felt was relevant to Hadley and then gave that to Troy. Troy took all of those and then made it made it more concise. So this is a result of that. So um, I, I know this is your first view of it. So but this is what you asked for. So I think the one of the views we looked at earlier had HR first and then the town administrator assistant. I like having the town administrator assistant as the primary purpose of this job. And with HR, and maybe it's not even a director, but an HR person. And I don't know if that would read because I haven't had time to thoroughly understand the way this is written. But the combination is a good thing. And we obviously need to do it relatively soon so we can get it out for advertising. I think the assistant town administrator is more important at this point than the HR, even though the, they're gonna perform both tasks. The only question I had was with the compensation study, I'm assuming it only studied the HR position individually. Yes. And where does the current salary for Troy fall in relation to the HR? You would, it, you would need more funds to support this. Uh, and. You know, Troy and I talked a lot about that. Uh, I think that, I do think that we could do a comp because these all came from surrounding communities. So I think we could do a comp for that. The challenge is gonna be, it's probably gonna be closer to my salary. And so we just wanna make sure that we can afford it. You know, it's gonna be something that um, is definitely an investment, but I wanna make sure that it's, uh, it's an accurate comparison because the worst thing to do is to try to advertise for a position and then not have people apply. And every position in municipal government is a challenge right now. It's a challenge. So but if we advertise, and this is a financial question, if we advertised only for an assistant town administrator who had backup resources in HR but was not an HR with all the uh, alphabet soup after their name, would that be less expensive? I, I would, the only, my only concern is if you're not bringing a qualified HR person, the workload increases for me. So right. I think you need to have, but I do think, I mean, I think we had had discussions before after Jen left 
that that position, that HR position, probably could be part time. Yes. So uh, Troy just finished some pretty significant projects, yes. and they're in your hands now for review. I think now that it's the the day to day operations, I think that, and we have Emily now to support some of the the more uh, uh, you know posting for positions and the, uh, the onboarding. I think that can be done by Emily. So I think that the HR aspect, I think you do want somebody, you, you absolutely want somebody with a human resource. Uh, I want them trained yeah. in human resource, but I don't know that that's the, the, I don't think it's a balance between half and half. I think. I No, I don't. And it's hard with a position like this to actually say, you're going to do half HR, you're going to do half right, assistant. Exactly. Because it is, there's, there is a, a curve with how that the projects will fit in because, you know, I had this discussion with Molly. I, I like doing the projects. It's just very difficult for me to complete them because I'm getting torn into other areas. So I think that it, it's going to be a, a, a moving position. You're going to see where the needs are, uh, even right. more that's assistance with assistance economic does. development. Yeah. I think that yeah, that can get morphed into this. I think that's important. Or it gets morphed into my position and I can let go of other things. So so can we go back to the Collins Center and say we'd like this rated? Yes. Okay. I so can that, ask and see if they'll do it. Question. Okay. I, I can also do that as well. Well, but yeah. I think it became, we're, do, we're almost done with the compensation study. And if it was consistent with the source mm -hmm. that the first one came from, I think that makes sense. Because then we can say this new position has been scored out by the Collins mm -hmm. Center. And this is what they said. Yeah. And one of those job descriptions was was from them. It was a little generic. So there's a little bit more detail in this okay. one. So but just... I think before we do that, um, you know, I do want to be conscious of the fact that we, we had a brand new board member who, again, you have some catching up to do just right. in terms of some things that um, we've been working on for a while. And I don't, I don't want to do anything to unduly delay the process, but I think uh, it would be worthwhile for um, each select board member maybe to give you, Carolyn, their their thoughts. It's like James' That'd be point great. about what the priorities would be, because that's going to change the job description that we have them score, mm -hmm. right? So I think if we can land on what we would like this to Do that be, first before it goes to yeah, the columns. And then yep. get it scored. Um, yeah, and I'm thinking, you know, I'm hopeful that there are people out there who are interested in making municipal governance a, a career path, and we may be able to attract some people even from like regional planning and areas like that that would be interested in doing this and have some level of experience. So, you know, for a, a town administrator position, typically we would only hire someone who has been a former town administrator or someone with other executive experience. Is this more of somebody that is just start, starting out in their executive no. career or is no. this be someone that's been a former administrator? Or I don't think you'd get someone who's a former administrator. Mm -hmm. I think you would get someone who does want to stay in involved in municipal government and has some management experience, but also HR was a part of their experience. You really want to bring somebody in with municipal knowledge. It, okay. You really do. Oh, yeah. So I think it's important to take the time and as you're saying, to get all of your input. I think that's really important. I'm, I'm just wondering what's what type of person would be seeking this position versus, you know, a town administrator going to a new town, maybe they want a different challenge, maybe they're moving, maybe they want a, a bigger town or better pay. But for someone that's the assistant, yeah, it, would it be someone who's making a lateral from, from another assistant position in another town? Or is this somebody that says, hey, I've been, I, I don't know, HR at XYZ company, and now I, I want to get into municipal government, I guess. No, I don't, I, I don't think that would be a move that would be advantageous for the town. I think right. you want somebody who's been a part of management in some way or other in municipal government. And you do often see HR managers or directors in municipalities moving into these type of positions because they've okay. seen how the town works. Okay. They want to be involved at a different level. Okay. I, I think that <laughs> we need to place a, a pretty good emphasis on the HR aspect of it based on what we've been going through for the past year plus. Uh, We've been through multiple HR directors and we need somebody that's going to be solid in that position. And um, I'm looking at this as 
HR is the priority and the assistant administrator comes in second, no offense, um, because again, what we've been through and what we've seen happen, I think the HR is very important. I realize it may not be a 40 hour a week job, but the skill set needs to be there. And I, and I think that can be accomplished. I don't think you're breaking up. They're going to do 20 hours. Right, I get 20 that. Hours. that. I get that. I agree. And that's why that has to be somebody with experience in HR, oh. because it will save the town money. Yeah. It's, it is, yeah. it's definitely a, uh, the right move. You have somebody experienced in HR. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So how soon do you think we should all go through this and get a med to care? Well, just would everybody be comfortable? Um, we're meeting next Sunday, June 6th, six, something like whatever, whatever that yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, would people be comfortable getting their comments back to Carolyn so that we could discuss it at that meeting? I think that makes sense. It's not that huge a document to go over and come up with some thoughts. And, and I think the other thing we should all take into account as well, as well is certainly, um, you know, it's it's not a, a secret that when we look at town hall and we look across the department heads, that there will be some change coming in the next few years. And we want to be careful that we, we contemplate that as well, right? Um, because yes. there, there may be some other reconfiguration of, of the positions that happen at that time. It so. could be combined positions. Sure. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, depending on what the next few years brings. Right. To. Okay. So. Right. Okay. We can do that. Right. So if we're going to talk about it on the 6th, we should have it to her by first. Yes. I'd say the Friday or the Thursday because they have to post it. Thursday before? That's the first, right? Yeah. The, the first. No, 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 the 31st. 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 Oh, yeah, so the 30th. Quick question for you on the reorganization for the liaison assignments. Are we going to talk about that in a future meeting or are we doing that tonight? It's not on here. It's not, yeah, it's on the agenda. Yeah, we should do that at the, the next. next one. Okay. Are we all set with that topic? Mm -hmm. I believe we are. All right. Okay. Um, so the next topic on the agenda this evening is the executive session minutes approval. Um, so just for those who are uh, watching tonight uh, in executive session, we had to go through all of these minutes and determine which ones we were eligible to release, and then uh, which ones perhaps could only partially be released and which ones could, um, it was prudent for the town uh, not to release at all. So that process was completed last night. And so I move that we release the minutes from February 1st, 2023, March 15th, 2024, April 5th, 2023, April 12th, 2023, April 19th, 2023, May 5th, 2023, May 15th, 2023, May 17th, 2023 is a partial release, which is releasing the review of the open meeting law. May 22nd, 2023, June 7th, 2023, June 28th, 2023, July 19th, 2023, August 16th, 2023, September 6th, 2023, partial release, the union negotiation UPSEU local unit 424, MAD DIV 121, contract negotiations, fire chief and the DP1 director. September 20th, 2023, October 18th, 2023, partial release litigation AJP, November 1st, 2023, December 6th, 2023, December 14th, 2023, January 26th, 2024, January 31st, 2024, partial release, contract negotiations, building inspector, police chief, police lieutenants, dispatch supervisor, and February 12th, 2024, partial release, litigation. 21st, 
21st, sorry. I'll second that. Uh, and just for clarification, I believe that the October 18th, um, it says yeah. litigation. Mm -hmm. I believe that that was actually potential litigation UMass. Let me just double check that. Mm -hmm. I know what it says, but I just want to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's why I correct that. Yeah, I just want to correct that. I'll, I'll second the correction. Okay, and then February 22nd, the partial release. The 21st, it says here. But... I'm sorry, 21st. Okay. Is also you UMass or about? Uh, no, that's the fire department. Okay. Max, get out! Come! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the select board. <laughs> and I'm sorry, did you read the April 3rd? Just well, Jane? No, she did. No, I didn't. Miss April 3rd, 2024. Second that as well. I say you want to second the okay. Yes. All right. Thank you, Kat. Okay, motion made and seconded. Is there any discussion? It's a lot of minutes you guys went through last night. <laughs> Every <laughs> single one. <laughs> Actually, it's really good, and I'm glad we did it. And now that we're going to do it on a more rigorous schedule, yes, it Quarterly. really is a nice review because the things that are still ongoing, it's a review for us of what's still ongoing and what might need to be pushed or not pushed, and what we finished, and let's say, okay, yeah, we got that done. Okay. How far back did I go? A while. February no, first, twenty twenty. I mean, is there more before this? No, no. no. Okay, all this right. Is it. All right. We'll be caught up. Okay. Uh, okay. So, motion made and seconded on um, the floor. Any uh, motion made by Jane, seconded by Randy. Any further discussion? Mm -hmm. All right. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, and just in terms of process, uh, to let the public know what to expect. So, for those uh, that are partially released. Uh, redacted minutes will be available. Uh, they'll be made available. And then for uh, the ones that we are not releasing, um, going forward, I'd like to, to recommend that we go back to the practice of um, having standing agenda item quarterly, which is review of executive session minutes. And so every quarter we can go back and then those that we can release um, that mm -hmm. We're not able to know. Yes, yes, please. Well, I've got November down to be the first to meeting in November. Another review one. it. To do it. Okay. That's six. To, to review the executive session minutes? Yes. Um, oh, seems like a long time. Yeah, seems like a long time. So, okay. we do quarterly, so June, July, August? Sure. Yeah, that, it, that was extremely tedious doing that stuff. I, yes, it was. Yes. <laughs> like to stay on top of it. And I think that there's some of these that are related to like one topic that hopefully will be resolved by then too. And we can do. You said August, right? Yeah. No. All right. And then we have the town administrator's report. Okay, um, so just an update with the DPW supervisor. We have a possible in-house candidate that uh, is being discussed and there should be a recommendation, a consideration with there. It's under consideration right now. And I think I'll have a recommendation if, if that is follows through uh, for the next select board meeting. There's no other at this point. Um, I'm sure we're going to get that dispatcher position posted. So I'll follow up with Mike on that. Uh, definitely having challenges scheduling uh, some uh, our next negotiation with the municipal employees union, uh, but I think we got a date today. I think we agreed on one, so I will keep you updated on that because I will bring any updates back to the to the select board. The let's just going to go through anything that's an update. Uh, fiber is I I need I need I didn't get an update yet from Mike about whether that fi fiber is going to happen with Parmars or not. 
Russell School is in progress. And I am submitting a grant. I think I mentioned that last time for uh, for the windows. We did have an engineer come out to take a look. Uh, because of the threshold, we probably um, can go with an engineer that has some experience with uh, exterior historical renovations and restorations. So we're having some discussions with them. And that grant for just for the windows is all I could apply for. Uh, that was that's due at mid June, so I'll be applying for that. And uh, I did attach a draft of the press release for the town seeking volunteers for the government, a client, the government restructuring committee. That's for the strong town administrator. I basically uh, Collins Center is also working with Ludlow, so I kind of just stole Ludlow's. He sent it to me, the town manager there, and just tweaked it for this. So I just uh, that's a draft. I did send it to the Collins Center. I haven't heard back from them just to make sure I'm using the words correctly and terminology correctly. Um, so if you see, just read that, get back to me. If you need to, if you want anything clarified or add or take taken out, I can just do that. Um, the other thing we talked about was we wanted to wait to see who was gonna be on the select board. Um, uh, right now, the plan is for me to be the point on this, um, but uh, we're looking for one more select board member to, to participate in this as well. Okay, Any volunteers? Not me, thank you. I got plenty of other things I'm doing. Jane, are you interested? Um, I'm trying to cut back a little bit, so if you want it, please take it. I'll volunteer. If needed, I will do it. Okay. But the records reflect that David Phil has volunteered. And that, just so you know, just a reminder, if you haven't had a chance to read it, that the Collins Center is responsible for guiding it through and making sure there's a lot of public input. And I did put that on the press release, that the, the responsibility of the committee would be to make sure the public was involved on an ongoing basis. So that's really a big part of it. All right. Thanks, Carol. Mm -hmm. no, oh, just the, the purchase and sale agreement ha is, is now signed for uh, 234 Middle Street. We've just got to do some um, final surveying uh, that we're going to have to do before June 1st. So, all right. What's the projected close? Is it June 1st, the projected close? Yeah, well, that's the due diligence period ends. So um, I'll have to look back on my paperwork, but I, I want to say it's within 30 days okay. of, of that. So I'll, I'll double check. Okay. Um, uh, any items for future discussion? Uh, I have one I just want to throw out to see how everybody feels about it. Um, what I'd like to propose is on it on the agenda that we have a standing agenda item, which is strictly um, dedicated to project updates. And, you know, for open meeting law, we'll have to bullet out what those projects are. <clears throat> off the top of my head, I'm sure there are more, but there's a lot going on. So when you think about a DPW building, um, the Dyke, uh, Russell School, uh, you know, there, there's some pretty big things that, and Carolyn tries to update um, when she can in her report, but I think that they're significant enough that if we just had one standing agenda item with the bullets, if there's nothing to report, fine, we can just move on, but it would just, Keep it front and so center. Maybe get red right on the on the list. Oh, yeah. to say. I, I, I like that. Yep. You okay with that? I like one? it. Okay. Um, that was all I had. Okay, I would like to set a date for the next executive session to continue on the com compensation study. I mean, I think we need to just do that. Mm -hmm. Can we do that at the meeting or do you want us to carry on? It's easier for me to do a doodle poll right. okay, than try to do it right now. Okay. Um, what I do want to ask, though, is the times. Is it night still the only option for everybody? I'm available. No. Pretty much. Or what's the earliest that you can meet? I don't get up until 9 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> That's not nighttime. <laughs> night, nights are definitely better for me. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. And remote. We can do remote still. Yeah, yeah, remote yeah. is comfortable with that. We we've done a handful in the past, like at a, a noon time or something yeah, like yeah. that. So depending on people's work, because you're working 
too, right? Uh, yeah, it's a little different than my old job. Oh, okay. <laughs> a little different. All right, so we'll stick to. But the earliest I can do is like 5.15. If we want to do a little earlier than, you know, 7 p.m. or okay. whatever. I'll do it. We'll do some doodle polls. Um, okay. We should be done fairly quickly with that. I think so. I hope so. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It'll it'll be the employee handbook next. Yeah. And then the other thing I'd ask is um, if anything, uh, you know, pops in anybody's head during the course of the week, just shoot me an email or and say, I'd like this on the agenda. So I mean, Carol and I will work out getting those topics on. Uh, liaison reports. Um, I reported on executive development last time. I have anything there. Anybody have anything they want to highlight? No, not and, this And time. then to Davey's point, so we'll get to these liaison yeah. uh, assignments yeah. at the June meeting. Uh, and last thing I have is announcements. Happy this evening. Memorial Day Parade Sunday. Mm -hmm. okay. Cemetery, so do you know what time is it? I have that list if you want to try it down. Okay. I, just, I remember. I thought for some reason they had to change the start time. Yes. I know the lineup time at the Legion. Well, it doesn't matter. I don't know. Great, so, great. Yeah. <laughs> I have it on my computer for you. Okay. Um, but just a reminder for everybody: uh, the Happy Memorial Day event is uh, happening this Sunday. Um, we'll start with the tour of the cemeteries in the morning. And then um, and everyone is invited to participate. There should be a schedule uh, easily found online. And then uh, from there, is it 2 o'clock start for the parade? Yes. From the Legion? Yes. Okay, starting point is 2 o'clock. All spectators and marchers are welcome. And then I do believe that, per usual, there will be some festivities on the common following afterwards. Uh, I think that's so, before, during, and afterwards. Yes. <laughs> before, during, and afterwards. So it's always a good time. And uh, I hope everybody that can is able to participate this year. I'll just say real quick, uh, thank you to the fire department, because the last couple of nights they've been out mm -hmm. late, 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 putting up flags and banners. Uh, oh, on all yeah. The, the, the that's parade an round. announcement. Yeah. yeah. That yeah. all the veterans' banners are, I think, they're all up. And they, yeah. they look very awesome. They look fantastic. They really yeah. do. And I'm impressed at how they... Somebody did an awful lot of work to get banners in front of the homes where the people lived. Mm -hmm. It was really nice. Yeah. yeah. So again, kudos to that that committee. It was a very hardworking committee, and they got a lot done. Um, and people across town are just thrilled. So it was a nice thing to do. Uh, does anyone have anything else to say? If not, take a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Motion made by Randy, seconded by Amy. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.